A 57-year-old male walked into ER with complaints of chest discomfort and sweating. An immediate electrocardiograph was recorded. Look at this ECG, what's wrong with it? At first the ER doctor analyzed it and prepared for thrombolytic therapy, but then when he got the cardiologist, who is supposed to have expertise in ECG interpretation, who figured it that it was misrecorded either due to misplaced leads or malfunctioning machine. So advised to repeat an ECG with a different machine. And results were different. Within normal limits in this scenario, which not only saved unnecessary thrombolysis but its complications as well. Misplaced lead can lead to errors in diagnosis, which can be easily avoided by learning it. If one of the leads is misplaced during recording an ECG, is it possible to interpret it on an electrocardiogram? Yes, it is. A variety of changes are seen on ECG when one or two leads are misplaced during the trial. Here is a quick way to memorize it. Our wave is positive in AVR. P wave is also positive. Common when right arm and left arm lead are misplaced. E for extreme axis deviation, QRS axis is between 180 and 90 degree. Normally seen in right arm and left arm lead misplacement. V for very low voltage less than 1 mm seen when isolated limb that is right leg and left arm or right leg and right arm leads misplaced. E for the exchanged amplitude of P waves, P wave in lead 1 is larger than in lead 2. Is seen when right arm and left arm lead are misplaced. R for abnormal progression of our wave in the precordial leads or in precordial lead reversal. S to suspect dextrocardia, negative P waves in lead 1, seen in right arm and left arm misplacement. E to eliminate noise and interference. That is mimicking STT changes, like seen in ventricular fibrillation in one or two leads. By matching one or two criteria from reserve we can interpret misplacement of leads while ECG recording. Thanks for watching.